today we're talking about the Vomero 14 versus the Saucony Ride ISO 2. Eleven point zero miles, eight minutes, forty seconds per mile in the Saucony Ride ISO two today. Getting it a little bit more miles on this shoe, so I can compare it to the Vomero fourteen. Two shoes that I think serve the exact same function. So if you're looking at one, you should definitely be looking at the other. But before I get to my thoughts on these two shoes head to head, I want to go over some disclosures. Each of these shoes was paid for by myself, so there's no disclosures really that I need to make. No one's paying me to make the video. No one's going to have any editorial control or get to see the footage before you guys get to see this video live on YouTube. Now with the disclosures out of the way, let's talk about these two shoes. Both of these shoes are intended for your easy recovery runs or for those longer moderate pace runs. With the Saucony Ride ISO 2, you've got the power foam on the bottom with the Ever run on top which is supposed to make it a little bit more cushioned a little bit more plush for you and in the Vomero 14 you got a full length zoom air pocket along with react foam which makes it a very interesting and exciting shoe back when it first came out I believe last November or December both shoes have a ton of grippy rubber on the bottom which is further indication that these are supposed to be your daily trainers that you're going to beat up and put a ton of miles into but i think the biggest difference between these two shoes is in the way that they approach the comfort for those recovery runs and for those moderate or slower longer days now the Saucony Ride ISO 2 achieves that with the Everrun top sole and the tons of cushion and padding that they have around the heel cup. Everything from the tongue all the way around the heel collar is just super soft, almost like a memory foam pillow around all the parts that touch your ankle. On the other hand, the Vomero 14 has an almost opposite approach where instead of trying to uh, wrap your foot in pillows it cuts everything away so as little of the shoe touches you around the ankle as possible there's a little flare away from the Achilles as well so that way there's less touching down there now there is a bunch of padding around here around the uh, the back of the heel cup so that way it can stay uh, firmly attached to your foot but other than that, it really just tries to stay away. And that's going to be the ultimate big difference for me in these two shoes is the way that they approach comfort in terms of the way that the shoe latches on towards your heel and ankle. And in terms of the long run distance and road manners, I think that the Saucony Ride ISO 2 gives you a little bit more room in the toe box and overall is just a, a wider shoe that has a little bit more room for your foot to play around in. The Vomero 14, ultimately it's a Nike running shoe, so it's going to fit a lot more snug than other brands of running shoes. But as far as Nike running shoes go, I do think that the toe box on this one is a little bit wider. And just everything about it seems a little bit wider from the overall footprint underneath the heel, uh, just to the overall shape of the shoe. It just everything seems a little bit wider to me. It's by no means a wide shoe in the regular size 9 that I have, but compared to a size 9 for the Pegasus, it is a little bit more generous in terms of spacing. Now ultimately for me, how would I pick which shoe of these two to wear? Uh, it's kind of a tough question because I don't think that a person should have both of these necessarily in their closet at the same time because the use cases for each of these shoes is pretty much identical. But here are the very, very subtle ways that I think that these are different. 
I felt like when I took this shoe on a 20 mile run that around mile 15 or so, which is a very long distance in, I think that the ever run started to bottom out. And that's really what I'm thinking goes on with this shoe. And I think that's the ultimate price that you pay for comfort that's achieved through plushness. After a while, soft cushions will bottom out, kind of like uh, laying down on a pillow in one position for a really long time. After a while, that pillow is not gonna quite feel as soft. You know, the way that the Nike approaches long distance comfort is by combining the springiness of that Zoom Air Pocket with React Foam. Uh, while is isn't the most plush combination of materials together, I feel like the behavior of those two materials together is really consistent even over longer distances. But overall, I think that both of these shoes do a really fantastic job at their intended purpose, which is for those moderate pace, long distance miles, or those easy, shorter recovery mile days. Uh, you're going to really enjoy either one of these, but ultimately in terms of deciding which one is right for you, I think that you're gonna have to try each of them on and feel which approach to comfort you appreciate more. The padding and the pillows, or do you want a low cut, don't touch me kind of approach to uh, contact around the ankle and Achilles. So those are my thoughts on the Vomero 14 versus the Ride ISO 2. Let me know if you have any questions about these two shoes in the comments. I'd love to talk to you guys down there. But before I go, I do wanna remind you guys about the charity runner for the week. This week, it's Samuel Hussein, who just ran the Hackney Half Marathon last Sunday. And in doing so, he reached his fundraising goal uh, to raise money for the Skyway Food for Future project. I'll post links in the description in case you wanna learn more about what Samuel just did and the charity that he's raising money for. And that's all I have for today, everybody. Thanks so much for making it to the end of the video and I'll see you guys tomorrow. Yo, what's going on?